Capital Radio describes her as unique ability to fuse any array of genres from mainstream sounds like hip hop and reggae to eccentric ones like house music, neo soul and afro soul. Not a mere effect if any of you have tried to shift from a particular music style to another. She's a Jill of many trades and a master of sounds. Wow. She is phenomenal. Wow. Fenagiti joins us live on <laughs> Basics. Fena, good to I see wish you. I could be introduced like that every day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a recording of that just to play as my alarm? That one you will get. That one we promise you. Oh, Absolutely. Wow. It's actually going live right now. Okay. And so, uh, it will also be up on YouTube. Fena, oh, congratulations, wow. man. Thank you. What a talent, huh? Thank you. And this first came up mm-hmm. when you won the Fête de la Musique mm-hmm. at Alliance Francaise. Yes, in 2008. So 10 years, it was 2008. Yes. So 10 years later, mm-hmm. still making music. Yep. What's the, what's, the, what's the journey been like? Oh, we if we had all that, we'd tell you all the stories. But I mean, um, it's been fantastic. I've learned so many lessons. And I've grown so much. Like just now, play listening to that song for me was like nostalgia on a whole other level. So it's it feels good to be here. It feels good to be yeah. here now. Fena, there's uh, your big break. You mm. see, for a long time you were doing music, mm-hmm. but I w- I wasn't seeing you in most of the concerts and events. Mm-hmm. But as we speak right now, if I was to put up a concert, mm. then I w- and I was looking for a female artist, yeah. definitely Fena would be in, in the top of the list. Uh, when was this first break when you got into the real commercial music? Mm, so I've been performing for a long time. Um, mm-hmm. Like Blankets and Wine, mm-hmm. Koroga, I've mm-hmm. done quite a number of those. Mm-hmm. And a lot more live shows. And then even as I was growing, it got to a point where I needed to switch up my music to make it palatable for a lot more people. So uh, I think Semangwe for me was probably the song that kind of crossed me over to the mainstream. Mm-hmm. And it became easier to go to clubs, to go to other towns and perform. Mm-hmm. So it kind of opened me up to a whole new world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you like performing? Do you like the live shows? I, I, I live for the stage i love being on stage mm. i'm a totally different person on stage mm. um it's my life it's my it's all i i know you're like jalas you love the stage that's yeah. it that's it, it yeah, yeah. I get you become a, you become a different person mm-hmm. that's it mm? that's it that's it. just like you bro <laughs> <laughs> just like you I, I i'm scared to death of the stage oh, yeah. yeah but then when the lights come on i just you know i switch to that other person but mm. i'm scared to, when i look out of the crowds mm-hmm. it's scary i still get nervous uh-huh. i'm always nervous right. before a show i don't right. think there's anybody who gets on stage hey, they're not no, nervous yeah. so comedy on our side is even more different correct mm-hmm. you get up on stage and you try and you're like okay <laughs> What mm-hmm. is happening here? Then comedy is a bit different. Yeah. You know, you can sing Semangwe like mm. every day, every now and again, yeah. and it will sound new every day. Yeah. I joke one said, it's gone. Try it again. You can. You and can. If, it, if it falls flat, no. Yeah. Yes. I've had people who faint on stage. Oh, what? Yes, we've had comedians faint. Wow. Yeah. Yes, it's on tough. stage. It's, yeah, tough. it's crazy, crazy, crazy. But you love this, huh? I love it. I've, I've done this all my life. And I intend to do it for the rest of my life. And you started playing music at a very tender age. Mm. I grew up in a musical family. Mm. Um, my, my sister is a classical singer. Mm. Uh, my mom sings in every choir as, as far as I can remember. So I've grown up around that. Um, yeah, just I've grown up in a, f- a family where music is our daily bread. Yeah. And what do they think? What does mom think of what you do? The most supportive human being ever. Mm-hmm. Like, even at a time when, because my sister studied in the States, um, that time when people were being taken to the States to study, it was to do, you know, like computer science. Yeah. My sister went to do music, and people would come at my mom, like, why would you waste money to yeah. do that? Yeah. It's like, no, if that's what she wants to do, that's what she'll do. So, same, same, same for me. Where is she now? She's here. Now she's here, she teaches music and performs at operas here and there. Oh, yeah. Operas. So she gets paid? Mm-hmm. And she's making a living? Mm-hmm. 
So it wasn't money wasted? No. It was. Never, ever, ever. Mm, opera. And you if your opera. child wants to do the arts, if they want to, whatever they want to do, you just mm. need to support them. Yeah. You never know what will come out of that. Yeah. Yeah. I've always said it, eh? mm. most of the parents out there, mm. pushing my child, oh, let's go engineer, mm. doctor, mm. let's go doctor, mm. let's go pilot. Pilot, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, I'm going you are you are who cost you in you are who cost you in Omar Bay. Oh, Nini. But in I got to go to Lazimu Queen by lot. Engineer, engineer, na engineer, you may fungo ni kitchu as a monkey pecker. It gets really tricky. Yes. You have to. You have to, you have to eh? yes. diversify parents. Eh? Yeah. I've ever found my mom, and I've told you this. Mm with her prayer team, praying for me to get work. Mm. Her, her, her team, ile, jama, mm. sank in a prayer, eh? mm. then I was scared to, eh? you know, mm. at, at you come only bari, vile only bariki, nani si mwenye ni polisi, <laughs> venye only bariki, nani mwenye ni mwalimo, tukwa huyu mtoto wangu. <laughs> So she's, she still thinks you're uh, 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 you're looking uh, for what? Imagine. Or today, career. Yeah. If if Jamal today came to you, what does he want to be by the He wants to be either Messi hey. or Lewis Hamilton. One of those. Yeah. That's it. So <laughs> he walks in and asks Jamal, what do you want to be? Lionel Messi. <laughs> He's just, I'm serious. That's what he says. Yes. So are you supporting him? Oh, very much. I have to. I have to. I mean, he's the only one I have. So you know, whatever you want to be, oh, you go be. You go be, man. You know, and for some people, you know, science is is not their thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, it's not. You can't force them or yeah. instruments. It wasn't my you thing. see, parents forcing kids to play instruments that mm. they can't even pronounce mm. yeah, just because somebody's child is playing it. So now yeah. you want to force it. Some kids it. wanna be, but you know those big things. It's called huge the oboe. Thing. What's that thing called? The that people. Thing, huge thing. It's huge. And it's dragging it from the car. It's taking three people to drag it to his cl music class. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ, son of a carpenter. <laughs> I'd rather be a carpenter. You can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, Fena, collabos, collabos, collabos. Yes. That you was are the queen of collabos. Up and, uh, mm. Not yet, not mm. yet. Mm. That was really more of a strategy because mm. just to get more people to listen. Yeah. And these are people I've always wanted to work with. Like, King Kaka for me is like, I've, I've grown up listening to Kaka Empire music. Hold so. that thought, hold that thought, because you have so many collabs here. So <laughs> it sounds like a good story to tell, doesn't it, Jalas? That's what's up. A story a day brought to you by Safaricom Giga Bundle. It wasn't just Kaka, not just Kaka, there's yeah. uh, MDQ, mm -hmm. My Young Day, Kagwe. Kagwe. Mm. That was one of the uh, oh, biggest movies. Yeah. Collab. You guys used to call yourself the the squad, Party Nation. The Party Nation. Yeah. What became of the Party Nation? What happened? Uh, people are doing their own thing. You know, we're we're still very close as friends. So even when we get to meet, it's we're catching up on life first before we get to the studio, mm -hmm. and we're in very different. Everyone is pursuing the different. But don't you career. think that you guys broke up much earlier before? We. We were, it, it was an accident. That whole thing was more or less like um, a happy accident. Because mm. we were just in studio, we were just hanging out, and we were like, hey, this beat sounds dope, let's see what to do. So it was an intentional as such, and we definitely will do something again. It's mm. just, everyone is busy. And your friends, though? Always. Yeah. Yeah, that's now the people who we keep in ch each, each other in check. Mm. If yeah. there were two concerts, huge concerts, mm. King Kaka's concert and the Calligraph's concert in town. Which Tell one will you attend? Way, way. <laughs> Which one will you attend? I just ask. I'll attend both. I oh, no no. You have the choice to attend one. <laughs> what will happen if I choose one and if I choose both? <laughs> no no. You can't go to both. <laughs> the night is short. Yeah. They are performing at the one same time. One is at KICC. Mm -hmm. One is at KICC. The other is Uko. Uko West. <laughs> so you have to go to one. <laughs> uh so I'll say, Calligraph. Mm -hmm. Because I've, I have a song with King Kaka, so I've covered uh, that section. Yeah. Then now, Calligraph, I've been a fan of Calligraph from day one. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Is King Kaka great to work with? Oh, he's amazing. Mm. He's, so, he's such a focused guy, and he's mm. very quick on his feet. Mm. Like, sent me a beat on WhatsApp, loved what I gave him as a sample. Next day, we're in studio, finish. Moved and, on. Yeah. 
Just like that. Mm-hmm. And it was a huge So hit. this is how you send each other lyrics or beats? Sometimes, or that? Yeah. yeah. Things have changed, bro. What? Not your days. Technology. No, your days. Until you're in the to studio, <laughs> yeah, record it, record. Or listen to it. Listen. No, yeah. no, no, no. no. Mm-hmm. This is not. A, What's up? Oh. Or you can just go jam in studio. So it just depends. Like freestyle? Yeah. Mm. Do you do that? Sometimes. Um, especially now because I'm doing back-to-back tracks and people, if, I'm, if I have a session, like a collabo session, mm. I'd rather do it in studio just to get the vibe of everyone and what they're feeling with the song. But when I'm working on my own music, I take time. Mm-hmm. Like I take time to try and picture the story I'm trying to tell. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm working towards my second album. So mm-hmm. also I'm trying to find the direction to take the album. Mm-hmm. So for now I'm just releasing singles and not as many collabs this year. Oh, yeah. A lot of your own work. Yeah. Oh. Same way.